YouTube, while I'm doing these videos on wild plants and foraging, I thought I would touch on a subject of pokeweed, and that is P-O-K-E, pokeweed. Now, in the South, it's considered a staple in the diet, and people eat it, and I was always sent out to pick it, and Mama fried it, or with eggs, or she boiled it, and many people do. Now, the berries will turn purple. They can be used as dye or ink and are not edible. The plant leaves itself. I despise this stuff. It's slimy, it's bitter. I urge anyone eating this, even if you've been eating this all your life, you need to Google this. This plant should not be eaten. It has a lot of very dangerous chemicals in the plant. It needs to be poured off. The water needs to be poured off many, many times. If you haven't been pouring it off, you may be having health effects you don't realize are coming from eating this plant. Um, Entheology.org gives you many of the chemical components of, of plants. Livestrong.com does the same thing, gives you benefits and side effects of plants, but um, the internet is our friend for the most part. I mean, you can use it as a friend. It is the newfangled version of encyclopedias, but you can cross-reference so many things now. With, with the fact that you can walk around in any, any yard, any field, and gather a whole armful of dandelion greens, or dock greens, or any kind of actually edible greens that are beneficial, I don't know why on earth you'd want to eat poke greens. So before eating any poke greens further, I would I would say please, 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 please Google this and, and, and research this further. I would say it is not worth the health risk. But this is a commonly eaten plant in the south called poke weed. That's all for today, YouTube.